For those of you not already in the know, in the video I'm going to explain exactly what the TikTok Creativity Program Beta is. Even better, I'm going to be explaining it directly from the horse's mouth, directly from TikTok so you get their description and what their take is on their own product that they've created. I'm going to cover what it is exactly, the reason for its existence, eligibility criteria, my take on whether it's worth joining it or not and the resources are going to be in the description as well if you want to take a bit more time and do your own research beyond this video be sure to jump in the description and take a look at those resources the tiktok creativity program is essentially for people that love creating high quality longer tiktok videos and if you want to monetize your content this tool is exactly for you that's what tiktok is saying now by longer content what they mean is videos that are one minute plus so anything from one second all the way up to 59 seconds will not qualify so essentially with this you have the potential to collect rewards as you create and publish longer video content by joining this program, you'll have access to an updated dashboard to view video eligibility, estimated revenue, video performance, and further analytics. And all videos for the creativity program beta need to follow and abide by TikTok community guidelines. My view and my take on that description is the creativity beta is the big brother of the TikTok creator fund. It pays you 20 times more on average than the TikTok creator fund. I know it's not always going to be that for every creator out there, but this is how, or this is what TikTok is saying is a selling point for people that have the option to join the creator fund. And rightly so, I have seen examples of people that are getting paid way more than they would for views within the creator fund equally. I've seen examples of people that are not getting paid so much that seem to have fallen on the wrong side of the creativity program beta. To be eligible, you need to have a US based account. You must be at least 18 years old. You must have at least 10,000 followers and you must have had at least 100,000 video views in the last 30 days. So in the last 30 days prior to you applying. All you do is open your TikTok account or TikTok app rather, tap profile, go into settings, go into creator tools and where you normally have the creator fund, you can tap switch and you'll have an option there for the creativity program beta. But do keep in mind that once you switch the creativity program beta from the creator fund, you cannot switch back to the creator fund. TikTok goes on to further show us or tell us what the best content formats are for the TikTok creativity program beta. Now I have done another video which will hopefully be somewhere on the screen where I delve into some video ideas for longer video content for small business owners and for creators and that gives you guys some ideas in terms of what you can test out for longer form content as opposed to easier video types to make that fall within the shorter video format space so do check that out if you'd like to find out more around those ideas um, i will also again link this article in the description so do go and check that out so you can read this for yourself as well but essentially what tiktok is saying are the best content formats so they're saying you can keep your viewers engaged and interested with step-by-step -step tutorials so tutorials um, they're saying also you can do illustrative stories narrate with captivating language and include eye-catching scenery so essentially stories also you could introduce a question at the beginning of your video as a hook and then answer that question so starting with a question and then providing an answer to that question obviously those are just three examples there's plenty of other ideas and examples out there in terms of what you can create to serve longer form content to your audience Another part that TikTok covers, which I have done a video for on this YouTube channel, is the difference between the creativity program beta and the creator fund. And what TikTok are saying, quoting their words, we've been listening and learning from your feedback about the creator fund. The creativity program beta is designed for you to create longer, high quality videos and unlock real world opportunities. This program offers higher cash incentives with earnings based on qualified views, giving you the potential to earn 20 times the amount previously 
offered by the creator fund now when it comes to qualified views what they mean by that is if for example within the creativity beta you've accumulated a hundred thousand views TikTok is going to check those views because they the certain criteria that they have to meet for example the video needs to have been watched for longer than five seconds in order for that to be classed as a view also you must have reached at least a thousand views for that particular video in order for that to qualify for the creativity program beta rewards so they're going to check those views and they're going to filter them out and out of that hundred thousand you might end up say with maybe eighty thousand views or seventy thousand views and those are going to be classed as qualified views so essentially as long as they meet the creativity program beta criteria they are going to be classed as qualified views again another topic that i'm probably going to do another video about and delve into a bit more deeper but just wanted to clarify that at a high level now segueing nicely into the next point which is what is an eligible video again from tiktok's perspective eligible videos must be high quality original content longer than one minute furthermore a video is eligible for rewards with the following criteria Again, as I mentioned earlier, it must reach at least a thousand views. It is not a duet or stitch video. It is not a photo mode video. It is not an advertisement, paid promotion or sponsored content. It does not violate the creativity program beta terms, the terms of service or the community guidelines or the copyright policy. We want you to join this program to foster creativity and reward it for it. So that should give you an idea of what they class as eligible videos but the key point to take away there, it needs to be your original content and it needs to be longer than a minute and it must reach at least 1,000 views. It's still not clear whether multiple videos combined that reach 1,000 views, whether they'll be counted or each individual video must reach 1,000 views for it to be counted. Not entirely sure. Let me know in the comments if you've got some clarity around that. Now, in terms of my take, um, whether to jump on the creativity beta opportunity or not, if you qualify, um, I would say definitely go for it. If you're in a region that qualifies currently, it's only the USA, France and Brazil. To my knowledge, they did say they're planning to roll it out to more regions, but there's been nothing about that in recent months since this has been launched to everyone in the usa so tiktok are just keeping mum about that so if you have got the opportunity i've seen some really good examples of creators that are making a lot of money so overall i would say if you're someone that's serious about earning some money on tiktok and you qualify for it because a lot of people don't qualify at the moment definitely 100 percent go for it if you're serious about building a community and potentially building a creative career out of your content creation not just on tiktok but on other platforms as well i think it would be a good place to start equally if you're a creator that's doing really well on tiktok but on short form content and you're happy with what the creator fund is paying you then there's not necessarily a need to switch because you might find that once you take the leap and you move to longer content you may not make as much as you do on the creator fund so it's really down to you and what effort you're willing to put in what risks you're willing to take and by no means am i saying the creativity program beta is going to be a career for anyone yes it's paying out a lot at the moment but social media platforms have a history of having these peaks when it comes to monetizing views and then having these drops at some point so it's good now it's working now it's paying a lot now but i would keep your eyes focused elsewhere if you're looking to make this a full-time thing as in quit your job and start being a full-time content creator i would look at not just the creativity program beta but having multiple streams of income so again it's really just down to you and what your priorities are what your goals are what you're willing to risk another key bonus point that i'm going to mention to you guys as well if you're someone that doesn't want to take a risk with your existing account why not create another account start a new account there's nothing that i've come across to say you cannot have one account on the creativity program beta and another account on the creator fund so technically you could utilize both monetization tools if you are someone that's willing to go that direction but let me know your thoughts what do you think following this video did this give you enough information to understand what the tiktok creativity program beta is have you got any questions let me know in the comments i will also leave resources in terms of more information in the description so you can click those links and do some further reading and research for yourself otherwise i will see you in the next video take care for now